Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rabbit Review. The special guest, Andrew. And we have Lakeport Pilsner. Lakeport's very first beer. 5% alcohol. This was their namesake. This was what got them out there. That made them almost take over the Ontario beer market. They ended up owning a third of the Ontario beer market before uh, Labatt bought them for over $200 million in 2007. Which is a huge amount of money when you figure they had the cheap, cheap two fours back then, the 24 for 24. Two four for two four, yeah. yeah. Um, Lakeport was not really all that great back then. <laughs> Hasn't gotten any Now better. Labatt owns them, which means they're going to be putting even more adjuncts in it and more, uh, more corner cost cutting procedures. Uh, it's no longer brewed in Hamilton, it's now brewed in the uh, Labatt Brewery in London, Ontario. The Hamilton Brewery is still just sitting there, completely empty. Labatt won't let anybody else buy it because they don't want another brewery there. Bastards. I don't know. A horrible, horrible beer company wanted to buy it from them and reopen it with all the same staff. They said no. Who is the horrible, horrible beer company? Uh, boxer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Pale gold color. Head. Looks more like a lager than a pilsner, not quite as pale as it should be for a pilsner. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I am not drinking this whole uh, glass. <laughs> kind of smells like dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. You know, it, it, it actually smells like a. Uh, Stagnant water that's been sitting in the bottom of a bucket for a while. <laughs> Should get out the gas mask. <laughs> yeah, like a mosquito breeding pool. Um. Yeah. Porto let comes yeah. to mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not. Not a good smell. Um. Really don't want to try this right now. You're going to do it. Here we go. <laughs> Not quite as bad as it smells. Not gonna say it's much better. <laughs> not quite as bad as it smells. Um, um, if you have strong taste buds, you wouldn't want to try it. <laughs> you get some more of that dirty water and stinky flavoring in it. Uh, the dogs are mad because they're upstairs and we're down here. Um, you can get corn. You can get... I don't even know what other adjuncts are in there, but it doesn't taste like normal beer. It really doesn't. The corn is there. Get that, like, corn chip taste. You get that dirty taste. I don't know what they're using to cut the hops, but it's not nice. Um, soil. <laughs> it leaves a nice dirty flavor on the back of your throat. Nice dirty flavor. As if they haven't cleaned out their kegs in a while. The mash tun, they just keep reusing it. <laughs> you know, you know how you sometimes think a coffee place is reusing the coffee filters? They're just reusing the mash tun. They don't ever drain it. It's not the worst beer I've ever had. Uh, I'll never drink it again. Well, I'm not saying I will. <laughs> There's a reason I bought a single can of it. Um, truthfully, when Lakeport was Lakeport, it didn't taste this bad. People had stigmas of Lakeport, they made jokes about Lakeport, I still make the jokes, but uh, it didn't taste this bad. It was actually worth the price then. Now it's not. No. 2-4 um, two for 2-4 four two four definitely is not worth it in this case. No. 2-4 for 12, maybe. 2-4 <laughs> four for 2-4, four, not, not happening. Um, it's gross. It's yeah. disgusting. Spend the extra 5 bucks, get a better beer. <laughs> I, yeah, good, good on you. Two out of ten. That. Two out of ten. <laughs> yeah, that's we, my thing because I'll, it's uh, not the worst, but I don't want it. I'll go with the expert on that one. I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's still there. <laughs> it won't go away. It won't. No. I'm gonna go back to this one. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you for watching the Albine Rhino beer review. Cheers.
good beer drinking <laughs> all just and buy Lake Port Pilsner. <laughs>